hey guys welcome back to the next video and let's talk about the date picker range I will just show you how you can specify some of its basic arguments so that you can create your initial date picker range so we have tcc dot date and if you see date picker single is what i am getting but we can change it to date picker range we can specify the id uh, if we want and it could be date pick range and it has the start date so, date. so it should be in dt so that is this 2015 5-10 what we specified and for end date let's keep it uh, open for the end user so let's keep like end date place folder text so this is one of the argument which you can specify and we can say select the end date all right that is what we can specify for now all right this is running so let me interrupt it execute this execute this and over here here we had created it earlier this is what we created right now and here you know it is asked we are asking here to select the end date so i can select so from 9th may 2015 to 23rd may uh, 2015 I want I can change if I want to change the start date I can change the start date I can change the end date whatever I want and I can see it and get it uh, as a range uh, as an input for my application so that's about how you can create a date range picker which is helpful in picking up the date range we have already talked about all of these different components I think we are uh, pretty much coming close to discussing all of the different components but uh, let me see my notes uh, if there is anything else which is left for discussion I will just show you and then we will move on about event handling so keep keep watching this space and I will meet you in a new video a new topic